I'll make a pact with you. With the gods as our witnesses, let us pledge that the winner will allow the loser all the proper funeral rituals. There are no pacts between lions and men. In this video today, we're going to talk about Stoicism. We're going to talk about what the Stoics of old would have done if they were out here dating today in our modern day climate. And I'm also going to put my own twist on it as well, because I consider myself a modern Stoic philosopher. And so I got my own ideas that come from me living here in this modern world, ideas which didn't exist back then. Okay, so I will talk about what they would do if they were transported from the past here into the future. And I'm going to put my own spin on it as well. And so let's talk about the core principle of Stoic philosophy. And that is to live in accordance with nature. Okay. And so the Stoics were firm believers in that men should bring and contribute as much of themselves as possible to society, but also to live in accordance to nature. And I want to draw a parallel here from nature to women, okay? So if you go out into the jungle, if you're in the desert, okay? And you see a scorpion, okay? Or you see a tiger, or you see wild animals, okay? You go camping in the jungle, okay? You're gonna quickly realize that there's nature all around you and you have to adapt. And you have to adapt quick or you're gonna die, okay? If you eat the wrong things, you're gonna die. If you encounter the wrong animal, you're gonna die. If you get close to a, uh, a tiger or something like that, it's gonna eat you up or it's gonna injure you critically and you're gonna die. And so very, very quickly, you're gonna realize that you're in nature and you better adapt, okay? Otherwise, you're not gonna survive. And in the same way, I wanna draw a parallel here to women, okay? And so the main difference between men and women when it comes to dating, when it comes to just living life is this, okay? We men often look at this reality, okay? And we all live in the same reality. We can argue this, okay? Maybe we have our own realities, whatever, we can argue this. But let's say we all live in the same reality, okay? The, what makes us different, men and women, is how we view this reality and the lens that we look out through, okay? So reality is out here in front of you and then you have this lens that you're looking, okay, through. And depending on your lens, you're gonna see different things outside, okay? And so we men, we look at the world in a rational way, in a logical way. And so we judge, we analyze, we categorize, we predict, we imagine, okay? And we look at things in a rational way, okay? We try to put boxes around things, okay? Here's how a man would think. We think, okay, let's say a man meets a girl. Here's how a man would think. I said this, and then she said that, and I did this, and then she did that, and then this happened, and because of this hap uh, because of that thing that happened, now this thing happened, and we draw a parallel between things, people, situations, places. We categorize, okay, this is the type of girl that you have fun with, this is the type of girl that you, you know, you, you settle down with, etc., etc. We put things in boxes. That's what logic does, okay? Then, you have women, okay, live in the same reality, but what do women do? Women look at the world through an emotional lens, okay? So they're looking out through these glasses, but they're looking at the same world that we're looking at, but in an emotional way, okay? And so if a girl meets a guy or there's some dating situation going on, okay, what do girls think? They don't think much. There's not much reason and logic to the things that they do, they would instead consult their feelings. So if you ask a girl, why do you like him? She might, she might like, uh, she might list maybe one or two qualities and sometimes not even that. Most of the time women would say, oh, I feel good around him. He makes me feel a certain way. Uh, I, li I like, uh, I, I like the uh, our experience together, our feelings, our emotions, my emotions, okay? That's what women do. They consult their feelings, okay? When you make a woman feel a certain way, she's going to be interested in you, all right? And so by the way you look at her, by your very presence as a man, the way you talk, the way you structure your conversations, okay? Women feel certain things and then they follow their feelings. So we look at the world in a rational way. Women look at the world, the world, sorry, in a feeling-based 
type of way. And so that's what makes us different, men and women and dating, okay? Now, if we go back to the Stoics, okay, it's very, very, very important. At the pinnacle of Stoicism was reason, logic, and rational thought, okay? And so if you were to say, what was the Stoics' God, you could say, you could argue, you could say, that it is rational thought, that, is, that it is logic. They called it the logos, okay? So at the pinnacle, at the top of it, is rational thought, okay? I want to continue further developing this hierarchy and saying at the bottom of it, you have survival and you have running on instincts. On top of that, you have emotions, running on emotions, consulting your feelings. And at the top, at the very top of the food chain, Okay, you have rational thought. So it's three steps. Survival at the bottom, emotions, consulting your emotions, and then you have rational thought. Remember, that's the Stoics God. If they had any, it was rational thought. It was the logos. It was the highest pinnacle of Stoic achievement, okay? To be logical and to look at things in a logical way, all right? And so at the bottom, you have survival, okay? What is basic uh, survival? It's instincts, okay? You're running on your instincts, okay? Food, shelter, killing eating, uh, digest, digesting, okay? There's not much thought that goes into that. It's just doing, doing, doing. You're running on your instincts, okay? There's even this saying, all right? There's even this saying that goes, uh, when you see a dude or somebody revert back, another man revert back into their base instincts, what do we say? Dude, you're a fucking animal, okay? That's where that saying comes in uh, from. You can even sometimes when you're mad at somebody, insult them and say, you fucking animal. You know what I mean? And it's not even in a good way. It's in a bad way. You're just calling them lower than human, right? And so at the bottom of it, you have uh, the animal-like instincts, which is very, very important and necessary. And we need that, okay? On, the top, uh, uh, on top of it, you have emotion, okay? What is closest to your animal nature? It's not emotions, okay? It's, sorry, it's not rational thought. It's emotions, okay? If you're rational, you're not very much in your uh, animal-like state. You're in a mental, logical, calm state, looking at things, dissecting things. But if you're emotional, okay, you're closer to your instincts. You're closer to animal-like behavior. You just do what you feel, right? And so women are constantly in that state, guys. They're constantly in the state of emotions. They're closer to nature than we are, okay? And so what, do the Sto what did the Stoics say, right? They said, Man lives in accordance to nature, all right? Follow me. Maybe it's a bit difficult. I'm all over the place, but follow me, okay? Man lives in accordance to nature. Emotions are closer to nature. Women are closer to nature. And so what the Stoics would tell you today in our modern climate, they would tell you to adapt, okay? The Stoics did not believe in lazy behavior. They said, get up in the morning and do what is required of you, do what is necessary of you. Nowadays, we live in a society, okay, where men are here crying, complaining, and they're not looking for ways to adapt, okay? They'll say, oh, this girl doesn't want to talk to me, or women reject me, or women are not interested in me, etc., etc., okay? Some men even stop talking to women, okay, because they say, I'm going my own way. I don't need women, okay? I'm going my own way. I don't have to deal with this, okay? But the Stoics would, if they were here, the Stoics of all would say, nah, nah, nah. That's you just copping out. That's you bitching out. Stop being lazy and adapt to nature. Women are closer to nature than we, we are. They're closer to that baseline animal instinct nature. If you went to a jungle, it's all nature, man. If you went into the world and you see a thunderstorm, Okay, women are closer to nature than we are, okay, because we are up here in the logos thinking all the time, okay, thinking takes you away from nature, that's many times why we, we men, okay, I have clients of mine, they come, they say, I'm, I'm in my head, okay, I'm thinking, I'm overthinking, I'm, I'm in my head, okay, whereas women, okay, they'll be in the dance floor, dancing, going out, having fun, doing stuff, okay, They'll, they're more in their body and feeling and in the emotions in the moment, okay, men are often trapped in their own mind thinking, okay, so women are closer to nature, the Stoics of old would, to would tell us, if they were here today, adapt, 
Stop being a bitch and find a way to succeed, okay? And so it's up to you to find a way that works for you. And for every guy, it's going to be different, okay? I teach cold approach. I teach men to go out, put themselves out there, okay? But that might not be for you. That's something that's available to all of us. I recommend it for everybody, but maybe you don't want to do that, okay? Maybe you do the, you go uh, online, the online dating route, okay? Uh, maybe that's not for you either. Maybe you do the social circle route, okay? Find a dating strategy, a mating strategy that works for you and stop being a little bitch. That's what the Stoics of old would tell you. Adapt to nature, okay? Don't cry. Don't condemn nature. Don't say, why is it like this? Find a way to succeed. Find a way to thrive and not just survive. Stoicism wasn't about survival. It was about thriving, okay? So that's very, very important. That's the first thing they would say. Second thing they would tell you is be a good man, okay? And in terms of dating, what does that mean in our modern day climate, okay? In the old times, the Stoics would say get married, find a good wife, and be a good man, okay? Don't, leave, don't lie, don't cheat, uh, don't uh, treat your wife, your spouse, your uh, significant other bad, okay? Don't do that. Be a good man. Strive to be a good man every single day. Now, here's my modern twist on that, okay? We live in a modern world, modern climate today. There's so many things you can do. You can have a closed relationship. You can have an open relationship. You can have multiple girlfriends. You can have... So many different variations and forms. You can be friends with benefits with someone. So much is open to us. We can sit here all day long and we can argue what is the best, okay? I'm not even going to put forth a thesis here today. I'm going to say do what you need to do. But whatever it is that you need to do, whatever it is that you want to do, okay, do it as a good man. And so, for example, I've chosen to have a main girlfriend and then see girls on the side whenever I feel like it or whenever I want to, okay? Whenever I deem it uh, important, okay? If I don't deem it important, then I don't do that. So part of me, okay, part of being a good man for me is being honest about that, being open about that. So whenever I had a girlfriend, like the one I have right, right now, I sat her down and I told her this. I told my previous girlfriend and the girlfriend before that and the girlfriend before that the same thing. So it doesn't matter what strategy of uh, in terms of relationship form, okay? Well, so relationship form is not really a strategy, but you know, what type of form that you choose to, 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 to explore, the most important part is that you're communicating and that you're honest and that you own who you are and what you want to do. And that's ultimately what is my modern twist on being a good man. I think across time, that's been, it's been the same, right? Being a good man is about being virtuous and being honest. And again, having only one girlfriend, only one wife doesn't make you a good man, okay? Having uh, just in the same way that having four, five, seven different girlfriends doesn't make you a bad man. What makes you a good man and what makes you a bad man, it depends on how you carry out the situations. If you're lying, you're cheating, you're going behind uh, the women's back, if you're misleading, misguiding, okay, conniving, scheming, then you're a bad man. If you're honest, you're virtuous, you work on yourself, you have good communication, and you decide to do whatever it is you're doing in the best way possible, known to your knowledge, then you're a good man. So the Stoics would say, live in accordance to nature, stop being a bitch, and they would also tell you, be a good man. And in the past, Back in the old days, people would marry, okay? Because also, you know, you don't want to have a bastard. What's a bastard? It's a child out of wedlock, right? So that was like a big taboo back in the day. Nowadays, it's not a taboo. Like the world has changed so much. So you can do an open relationship. You can have a closed relationship. You can have, like in my relationship, my girl, my chick, she's not allowed to see other men, okay? That's a hard rule I have. And if she wants to see other men, we're not going to be together anymore. I let her go, okay? And I've told her that it's important for me in my freedom, in my journey, to see other girls when I feel like it. Now, she's ringing the door right now, so I gotta cut this, uh, I gotta cut this video short, okay? Because I gotta open the door for her. She's actually here right now to visit me, to hang out, to watch movies and chill and, you know, girlfriend, boyfriend stuff. So if you like this video, like the goddamn video, comment down below, 
subscribe, and I'll see y'all, my Playboys, in that next video. I gotta go open the door. Take care, guys, all right?